my name is Dan Higginson and I am a skateboarder and filmmaker. My passion for skateboarding started when I was 14. When I first started making films, it became pretty evident that I wanted to do this as a career. So after graduating from uni, I uh, set up a company called Clockwise Film with a couple of mates. Uh, and we basically started from the ground up, filming music events and moving slowly into documentaries. In terms of shooting sport, I'm fascinated by not just what they're doing, but why they do it. And I think that's where the documentary part of my filmmaking experience comes in. It also allows you to use those skills in other elements of the film industry. So all of the skills that you learn in film and skateboarding are transferable, and I take those into other elements of filmmaking production. It's not just about skaters coming, hit record, skater lands it, stop record. It's about capturing all the bits that are in between. Okay, so today we are shooting with an XF605. It's a brilliant camera for shooting skating. Some of the features that I really like are the fold-out LCD screen, the handle, which is ideal for filming with skating because you can get down low. Uh, the sort of weight and the ergonomics of the body are ideal. All the buttons are really intuitively placed. It's just one of those cameras that just sort of lends itself to a filmmaker's instincts. You've also got the EOS C70. Today we've got the 14mm wide lens on there with the 0.71x adapter, um, which is ideal for getting low, getting close and getting in on the action, um, which is exactly what you want to do when you're filming skate. So yeah, let's get cracking. Anyone who's going to be filming skating needs a, a board, obviously, but ideally a filmer board. So this has just got bigger, softer wheels, which means you're quieter, and it also means you're less likely to hit a crack or a stone. What I like to do is be on the board as much as possible, really. The more movement, the better. So if you're following a fisheye line, obviously you're going to be on the board, but also you can shoot long lens lines. So that's where you might be on the other side of the park to the skater, and you just sort of hold the camera nice and tight against your body and just sort of zoom in and they capture the action from a slightly different angle. It really showcases the speed of the line and the speed of the skater. So a great technique, especially when filming long lens, is to have a start point of your scene. So basically frame up a nice shot and then have the skater come into that shot. So it's like an explosion of energy. And if you can, also frame up an end point. So after the trick's happened, let them cruise out of the shot and hold that frame. In this example, my start point basically involves doing a focus pull. So what we're doing is we're starting on manual focus, we're focusing up the transition. As soon as Jordan comes into the frame, we flick it to autofocus, and then we pull out on the zoom, and that allows us to follow him without having to worry about focusing for the rest of the line. Ever since the first ever skate video was made, camera operators realized that the action's the skateboard, that's the most important bit. And so they got low and they got close to the board. And that fundamental rule still applies. And that also makes the obstacle that you're filming look big, which is great because it makes it look gnarlier or scarier or more difficult. One simple technique to make wide angle single tricks look quicker is to move the camera around the trick in a sort of half circle shape like that and then you just whip it around as you go through the trick and what this means is that he travels through the frame whilst traveling at speed so it just makes the whole trick look quicker all right so we just shot the back tail around the bowl corner on the eos c70 and now we're going to go for some slow-mo um, just as a cutaway really basically just get the back tail super tight super close up real shallow depth of field 100 frames and then cut to the wide lens. So we've just finished filming and the first thing to do is get the footage onto the laptop. There's nothing worse than formatting a card and losing all of your hard work. So the footage is now backed up and we're going to start going through and just organising it in the edit. One of the things that we did today, which was a bit more of a technical camera trick, was we shot the tripod shot on the long lens and then the wide shot handheld. So here you'll see we've got Jordan lining up for the trick and you can see me in the shot. But because it's on a lock off, we can use the mask tool and just mask out the camera operator so we only see Jordan. That way the shot's much cleaner, much less distracting and you can just focus on the skating. And then it cuts to the close up where you can see the trick from the wide lens. 
Hopefully, all of this has inspired you to go and pick up your camera and find someone with a skill set or an interesting subject matter that you can get out there and go and film. Just find someone that's got a passion for something and, and share that passion that you have with, for filmmaking with them. One well-made film can be the start of both your subject's career and your career.